want you guys to consider the following dilemma. There's a runaway train hurtling toward a cluster of people stuck on the tracks ahead, but you have the option to pull a switch that sends the train down another track with a smaller group of people on it. You have the option of saving some lives by sacrificing a smaller number of others. Do you pull the switch? This is a common moral dilemma posed to school children to teach them the basics of human rights, a lesson the majority of humanity seems to have missed. In this article written by Julius Ruschel titled Bystander at the Switch, The Moral Case Against COVID Lockdowns, he explains the supposed moral moral dilemma was never a dilemma at all. He goes on to say there was only ever one correct choice. We invented universal human rights to make it clear that no person or government has the right to pull the switch to send the train down another track towards a sacrificial group of victims. In December of 1948, in the aftermath of the human rights violations committed during the Second World War, the member states of the United Nations formally adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It explicitly forbids government from treating some people as worth less than others. It forbids government from sacrificing some people for the benefit of others. It forbids government from knowingly imposing harm on some individuals in order to serve an alleged greater good. And it forbids government from imposing a hierarchy of rights on their citizens. Lockdowns during COVID pose the exact same question as the bystander at the switch. But it's not a game. Once again, there are real lives at stake. Yet in direct violation of the principles of human rights, governments around the world are choosing to pull the switch by imposing lockdowns for our safety. In doing so, they have given themselves the authority to play God with our lives. And this phenomenon of mere mortals classifying themselves as all-powerful gods is spreading through society like a disease. Just last week, I came across this post from a doctor here on Instagram. I won't name any names considering they're all just a bunch of clones of each other anyway. The post is titled, VAERS, the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. COVID shot reaction myths busted. This comes after the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System went viral online and brought the number of COVID-19 vaccine deaths and life-threatening adverse reactions to the attention of the public. In these seven short slides, this woman slanders her fellow medical professionals and all the victims who filed these reports. Here's where I get a little confused about these debunking myths posts. The doctors who are voicing their concerns over the safety and efficacy of vaccines went to medical school just as long as the doctor who wrote this post. Which means they essentially obtained a license to legally provide medical advice. So tell me what authority this doctor has to claim her opinion is fact and another doctor's opinion is fiction. Some would say it's about consensus. That the vast majority of doctors and scientists agree that the science is settled. But do they? And does that even matter? It took scientific consensus to get thalidomide, a drug that caused severe deformities in babies, on the market. And it took just one doctor by the name of Francis Kelsey to take a bold stance against its distribution in the US due to a lack of adequate testing. Innovation is not bred from consensus. Consensus in science implies that science is perfect. And no respectable doctor or scientist would ever say that science is perfect. Science is only right until it's wrong. It's ever-changing and open to scrutiny. That's the beauty of it. The reality is that there are thousands of doctors with differing opinions on the safety and efficacy of vaccines. I've heard hundreds of opinions from medical doctors about this pandemic, and no two are the same. You know why? Because doctors and scientists are human beings, and they're fallible just like the rest of us. She carries on in this post to say that the majority of people who report to VAERS are liars. I gotta say, this trend of calling millions of suffering victims liars is getting really old. Did you know that you could go to prison for filing a false report to VAERS? So what, there's just a slew of people out there who are willing to go to prison to troll this reporting system? Give me a fucking break. The cat's out the bag and nobody's buying your bullshit anymore. The movement has gained momentum. And what do we know about momentum? We know that once something gets going, unless there's an external force to stop it, it's gonna keep going. And based on your own conclusion that truth travel six times faster than fiction, I feel safe advising you to quit while you're ahead. She finishes off this extremely offensive post by saying all anti-vaxxers have a dirty hidden agenda to sell our pseudoscientific supplements to unsuspecting customers. Let me tell you as an anti-vaxxer myself, 
who we really are. We are people who have been severely damaged by vaccines. We are mothers who watched our perfectly healthy children regress after being vaccinated. We are children who bang our heads against walls because we're living in agony and can't put our pain into words. We are individuals from all walks of life who looked into the bloodstained history of vaccines and pharmaceutical companies. We are people who are tired who are absolutely fucking done being bullied by monkeys and lab coats into injecting our children with chronic disease. My goal here is not to gain your trust, and it's not to diminish your trust in anyone else. My goal is to create as many educated individuals as possible so they can advocate for their own health and understand the importance of informed consent. Because the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, if you are injured by this vaccine, it is you and you alone who will be left to pick up the pieces. There is no protocol in place to reverse the damage this vaccine may cause, and none of the pharmaceutical companies are liable for any of your injuries. This COVID vaccine is experimental, and where there is risk, there must be choice.